Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. Those of you who have been following the series may be quite surprised to see what you're seeing in front of you. We are one jump away from Beagle Point. I spent some time outside of the last few episodes uh, crossing the intervening distance to kind of speed this along, because as I've been saying recently, I would really like to find out how much money we have in our system here. So let's go ahead and get up to speed. Hard points deployed. Why are hard points deployed? Uh, is it you? There we go. Gear. Wow. What did I? Okay. Oh, whatever. I don't know how I did all of that. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and jump into Beagle Point so we can uh, hop into a uh, fleet carrier over here, and ideally, we'll be able to sell our data. Um, I'm gonna do a little experiment when we get there. We'll take a look, and s I know for a f I, oh, I know for almost certainty that uh, any of the uh, astro da astro mapping data that we have uh, is going to take a big hit uh, when we try to sell it out here. Um, but I want to see if it tells me that when I do the. Oh, there we go. Destination reached. I, I want to see if it's going to tell me that when we. Um, go into the fleet carrier system or whatever to try to sell it and see if it if, see if it tells me that it does and then if it does and then we go over to the exobiology area and it doesn't tell me that then uh, ideally we'll be okay so beagle point um let's see so yeah it's all fleet carriers as i was kind of expecting are we able to get more Let's see. I don't know if there's anything that we really want to be looking at, or if there's anything we're gonna be able to look at that's gonna tell us about whether they're gonna have uh, local activities exploration. Hmm. Did this one say local activities? No, it did not. So maybe we should go to one of these ones that has a local activities exploration, because that might be what we're trying to get to. All right, I know I'm a little bit out of sorts right now. Let's just head to this guy here and we'll uh, go land and see what we can get done. I want to check and see if it tells us that there's a penalty when we go and look at trying to sell off our data. And then if we go into the uh, the exobiology place or whatever and it does not say... Oh. I didn't realize we were so close to that. <laughs> Let's <laughs> so we'll flip back around and do this again. Not that big of a deal. Um, I just, I really don't, it, I don't know how much money we have as far as, you know, what we have in our in our system storage here. But if it's billions of credits and then we lose 25% of that, that's a lot of money to be losing. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get the Super Cruise Assist turned on. That way it can... Uh, drop us for us so that way I don't have to do it manually <laughs> I could probably do it manually but it's been a very long time since I've done it that way all right here we go right, I think we have to be within it's been a long time since I've docked at a station I think we have to be within seven kilometers before they'll allow us to do this all right, so docking request has been granted. Where are we docking? Oh, right there. It's kind of hard to see the color there against the scheme that they've chosen. All right, let's see. I'm gonna flip around because the we need to be looking at the number as we land. go all right so oh they don't have any repair services or anything interesting <clears throat> so you oh well that's no bueno i guess we have to go to a different one because this guy has his stuff hmm does this tell me am i able to find out what he has of what these guys have available. Okay. 
Well, this guy uh, is completely useless for us. <laughs> Release confirmed. Please watch for traffic during departure. Get ourselves out of mass lock then. Come on. And we'll head over to this one. I think the system map will probably tell me what's available and where I can go, but uh, it's been a while since I've had to use that, so I'm not sure. So... Oh. Okay. Well, over here, I didn't realize that there was a, uh, a thing here. So I think... The little spirally thing over there is probably one that has a Vista Genomics. Does it tell me? Hmm. Okay. Well, I definitely... Oops. How did I do that? How do I get, how do I get back to where what I was just looking at? Uh, okay. Okay, for some reason my throttle didn't stop. Alright, I know this episode is very disjointed. I generally have something to talk about, but today we're trying to figure this out. So, I apologize if uh, it's a little bit weird. How do I... Okay, so are we locked in on him now? Because I want to go somewhere that has Vista Genomics so we can hopefully sell off our stuff and make a lot of money. That's better. Go. We're going to get slowed down by the star a little bit here, but that's okay. Hopefully we can land and sell off our cartographic data. I should have checked to make sure that it actually had that. <laughs> I, was looking, I was looking at Vista Genomics and then I didn't think about the fact that, you know, I also need the other one. Come on. It's kind of cool that we're looking at the Milky Way, though. Uh, we're going to be having that. We're going to be heading on our way back, and that's going to be the view for quite a while until we get uh, into the thick of the stars there. We will be going all the way back to the bubble. I know that some of you have been recommending going to Colonia, but the issue that I have is, is that one of the reasons I want to have a fleet carrier is I want all of my ships with me, and all of my ships are at um, Jameson Memorial in Shinrata Desra, so kind of want to get back to the bubble, get our ship over there, and then... Uh, and then get all get, get on our way with all of our ships available. Welcome, Commander. For a standard flight protocol, surrounded carrier. Docking request accepted. Proceed to your designated path, Commander. Okay, hopefully these guys will have everything that I need. Crap, 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 crap. You must deploy your landing gear, come on. Now. Working on it. I got a little I got a little bit too squirrely. <laughs> okay. So universal cartographics, I don't know how long this is actually gonna take us to get the information loaded. Sometimes this can take a little bit. Okay. So this will allow us to sell off this page of information and it looks like there's 22 pages available. But I don't think it's going to tell me that I'm going to lose the information. So that's unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it'll tell me if there's a tariff on the service. Huh. Okay. So we'll repair and refuel real quick. So are we able to get out? All right. Yeah. Let's go see. It's. I think it said. Okay. I was about to say. I think it said. We, 
I think it said it had a Vista Genomics in it. I just want to make sure. We'll go inside and we'll see how much data we have. I think, honestly, I think I just want to play it safe and just sell everything now. As much as I, as much as I don't want to take a big percentage of a hit on there, we're so far out and we've got, we've gotten so much, uh, where's the... Um, where's the exit? Oh, over here. Uh, we're so far out, and we've amassed so much information, I'd rather just, i kind of rather just sell it and then make sure that we get at least most of our money out of it rather than have some kind of a stupid accident after all this time because, you know, I've reached the space madness portion of this journey, and I do something stupid and then everything's gone. So... I think it might make sense to just, oh. Services, services. Am I, is it just me or do the graphics look terrible right now? Graphics are on ultra. My display is set to the same stuff it's always set to. I just feel like the graphics look like crap right now. Huh. Everything's on ultra. Just feel like everything's like really messy looking. Ah, Vista Genomics. Hello. I trust you have bio data you wish to. S I'm curious to see what you've brought us. So, is this going to tell me if there's a tariff on it? Does it tell me how many pages I have? There's no way that we only have 304 million credits worth of data. Hmm. I think we're going to go ahead and just go for it. Okay. Oh. We got, oh, we got a lot of money out of that. Okay. That's it? That's all we got? Okay, I was like, <laughs> what? I was like, we, we spent way more time out here this time. We should have got a lot more money. That's it? Okay, so how many times are we going to have to do this to figure out... Oh, that's all we everyone. got? Our researchers always welcome fresh data. Anything more to share? Vista strives to learn everything it can about the cause. Anything else? Vista thanks you for your contribution. That is, that is a crushing disappointment, I have to say. I, I thought we were going to be much closer to our goal than we are. We still have, we still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, well, I guess our trip back to uh, the bubble is going to be just as long as our trip out here to Beagle Point, because... Uh, We didn't, we didn't have nearly as much money in our system as we thought we did. <sighs> I had my hopes up because people were telling me that I should have like crazy amounts of money, but I think I should, I think I should have, I, I should have done my standard temper my expectations because, you know, that's, that's just kind of the way it works. All right. Well, that's, um, let's get our, we'll go ahead and get our, uh, the rest of our universal cartographics sold off. They really need to streamline this whole thing and let us just sell all so we don't have to go through pages and pages of this stuff. Well. Wait, what?
little bit concerned. I don't like that we have to exit and then come back and wait for it to reload everything. Okay, yeah, this is... All right, well, I'm going to finish selling off all this stuff, and then I'll be back when we're done, because it's going to take me a while to have to do this 20 times to finish selling everything off. So, or... Okay, that's great. All right, yeah, let me, let me finish selling all this stuff off, and I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, I think you guys just missed it, but, uh, well, I don't know. What what did we just? I just got an, I don't know. I just got a promotion to Elite One, and I'm not sure what that was. What that was for, or exploration? It was an exploration Elite One, but I didn't think that the uh, I didn't think that the exploration thing had the new ranking structure. Did they upgrade everything to that? Weird. I'll have to check that out here in a second. But uh, I'm still working on trying to get all of my information sold. I'm up to 3.5 billion now. Some of these later ones are getting us like uh, tens of millions of credits per page, so it's not too bad. But anyways, I'm gonna finish selling off all this stuff, and then we'll check out the uh, we'll check out our ranking status and see where we are. Because I wasn't really paying attention when we sold off all of our um, when we sold off all of our exobiology stuff, but uh, it'd be nice to see where we are with that. And then I think I want to run back to Vista Genomics one more time, just to double check one last time to make sure that, uh, you know, because does this tell me? So combat rush, so explorer rank is now elite one. Trade rank is elite one. Exobiologist is now ecologist. Was that what it was before? Man, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of credits to get up to the elite status for that for that that's kind of uh it's kind of crazy but anyways like i said we still have four or five more pages to sell off so i'll finish doing that and then we'll run over to vista genomics and see just double check and make sure that there's not some kind of loading error because it seems weird that there were only like a couple of pages worth of stuff after all of the exploration that we did so we'll take a look at that in a second all right we're selling off our last page of data right here uh, I can see at the bottom there is a 25% carrier fee for this for this part. I'm um, still not 100% sure about whether there was a carrier fee for the egg, the Vista Genomics stuff. Um, I mean, no way to really know at this point. But I want I just want to run back there one more time. I want to make sure I just want to run back and make sure one last time that uh, we're not. We're not having any kind of weird, ridiculous issues where maybe stuff's not loading. Because I had 22 pages of, um, I had 22 pages of cartographic data, and it just seems weird that there were only two pages of. And, and I know it was each page was you know several billion, but the point is is that there was only two pages, and we did a lot of exobiology. So I'm a little bit confused by the fact that we didn't really have that Hello? much to sell. Ah, it seems a like. fellow inquisitive mind. Well, let's see what you've got for us. Okay. So I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. Do it's hard to know. It's hard to know too much about some of this stuff because it's just I don't have a lot of experience with it. But anyways. Uh, seems like we've gotten to, uh, we've gotten to done what just about as much as we're gonna be able to get done because um, now now we need to make another <laughs> we really realistically need to make another four billion credits um, to have enough to a buy the to buy the fleet carrier and then have enough left over to outfit it and have uh, you know a decent amount of buffer for paying the, the the weekly or whatever it is the weekly fees. So, I'd like to be at the 8 billion... Why are we con constantly having to repair here? What's going on with this? That's moderately annoying. Okay, so I think what we're going to do now then is I'm going to pull up the um, Elite Dangerous Route Planner. Let's see, I always forget... Um, and I guess at this point we're just gonna set we're just gonna set a route straight back to the bubble. So let's do, we're gonna do Shinrata. Wait, hold on. We're currently in. Um, sorry, you guys can't see this part. We're currently in Beagle Point. 
Our jump range is 59. And we want to end up in Shinrar to Des... You know, back in the bubble. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So this uh, galactic mapper thing, this Elite Dangerous Star map, uh, will plot a route for you and break it up into about a thousand light year chunks. Um, since the max range is about 20,000 light years, I'm going to pick the closest to that, copy it to my clipboard. We'll pop it here into the system map and hopefully it will be able to put a route in here for us. See if it'll actually plot this route. Ideally going in this direction with the stuff with the star system getting more dense we yeah it's it won't let me do that okay so i think what we'll do then is that for now well let's try let's try one that's 10,000 light years away see if we can do 10,000 light years if we can do this if we can do this one at 10,000 light years then ideally we'll be able to get Okay, well, this is going to be our route on the way back. We have to go all the way back over to here, uh, which, you know, I guess is fine. We'll be able to, we'll just continue doing what we've been doing, uh, doing exobiology on the way back. And hopefully by the time we get back here to the bubble, we'll have made enough money to buy our fleet carrier, fully fit it out, and have enough buffer left over to actually... <laughs> To actually get on our, to actually uh, be able to pay for this stuff for a while, um, you know, I'm I'm relatively uh, I'm pretty disappointed that we're not closer to our goal than we are. Um, you know, it's off obviously certainly possible that we lost a large chunk of our money uh, to fleet carrier fees. I didn't see it tell me. Um, I didn't see it tell me. That there was a fee, I don't, but I don't. I have a really bad attention to detail problem because I'm impatient and I don't like. I, I'm just I'm one of those people. So it's entirely possible we lost a huge chunk of our money, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad that we just went ahead and sold everything off because now we have a clean slate. We have more than twice the money that we had. So, you know, it's kind of hard for me to be super upset. Other than you know, it just kind of sucks that. We're not much closer to the goal than we have. Uh, we basically need at least twice what we have now for me to feel comfortable with the purchase and outfitting and all that stuff. And that means we still have a lot more work to do, but that's okay. You guys seem to be enjoying the um, exploration process, hopping down on planets, seeing cool different things. And uh, as long as you guys are, in, are content to continue watching, uh, whether we have a fleet carrier or not, the important thing is, is that you guys are having fun. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a pretty big milestone to reach our goal that we've been going for for these last few months. And now it looks like we have a couple more months at least worth of uh, traveling to get done to get back to the bubble and hopefully sell off all of our stuff because there's still a lot of work to do. So uh, if you like the video, be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing commitment, uh, you can also you can always leave YouTube's form of a tip with that thanks button. Direct contributions such as these are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys have been enjoying this journey. This was a very big, major milestone, as disappointing as the result was. So we can all be happy about that. Be sure to leave a comment, be sure to leave a like, and be sure to come back for the rest of this journey because it should be just as amazing as getting here was. So again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you for the next one.